No. <laughs> no, just a pop. I just script it out then before we even start. I, I'll run through. What's going on, Fader Culture? I'm Adrian Barone, and we're back with another barber tutorial. Today, we got my boy Mike here on the chair. We're going to be running down the steps on how to do a comb over with a bald mid fade. Before we get started, give this video a thumbs up, share it with one of your barber buddies, and let's jump right into it. All right, guys, thank y'all so much for tuning in to another tutorial. As usual, all the steps and all the tools that we use in this video will be linked in the description down below in case y'all want to screenshot it and follow along that way. And one time again, for those who have been supporting us and buying all our merch, thank y'all so much. It's very well appreciated. Now to start this tutorial, I'm going to damp the hair a little bit and comb it to its neutral position. You always want to go according to the cowlick, so make sure that you are combing in that direction. And we're going to start this scissor trim by creating our first section towards the front. Very simple, and I'm going to just go ahead, take some of the hair that I previously cut alongside with a new section, and then that's going to be my guideline, and just trim along the side that way. I'm just going to create smaller sections working my way back and just repeat that same process as I'm moving to the side, basically just picking up some of the previous cut section alongside with the new section. And that's basically it guys, very simple. As you can see, I'm using my finger to create that section. It's very easier and especially when the hair is a little damp, you're going to be easily creating these sections. And I am increasing the amount of hair that I'm cutting as I work my way towards the back as I usually do like to leave the fringe area a little bit longer. And a tip that I have for y'all when working with long hair on top and short on the sides is I use this technique by using my fingers in a vertical position to kind of help start connecting that long length to the fade. It's basically like a clipper over comb technique. I'm still going to come back and clean it up. And when that's all said and done, I usually do come back and run vertical sections and cross check my work. Very easy and very simple. Now to begin the fade, we're going to start where that temple peak area is. And we're going to create our first guideline working back and dropping it slightly as we approach the ear. And yes, my clippers are zero gapped, which I highly recommend y'all do as well. I will leave a link in the description down below on how we zero gap our clippers. I hope that helps y'all. Work your guideline all around. Just make sure that you end up at that same temple peak area on the opposite side. You could always step back and view him from the front to make sure that your guidelines on each side do align. Now for our second guideline, we're going to open the lever completely, creating the half. And we're going to take that up about an inch or so. Just make sure that you're running it parallel to the guideline underneath. That way your fade is basically even throughout the whole head. Take your time with these guidelines. Make sure they're soft and subtle. That way when we come back and erase them, it'll be easy. Now for the third guideline, I'm going to use my number one guard. Lever still fully open and continue the process of taking it up about an inch. As you can see right here, I'm using my fingers to move his bangs out of the way to make sure I don't cut into them. You can either clip it to the side or you can do as I did, just kind of move them to the side as you're working in that front area. Now for our third guideline, I'm gonna use a number two lever still completely open. And with this guard, I am going to exaggerate that flick out motion. That way I'm coming straight up and off the head and not digging so much in. And if you did notice, my lever stays fully open when I'm basically setting up my guidelines and cleaning up the canvas. I'm going to repeat the process with the number three guard now 
and this will be the last card that I'm gonna use and again exaggerate that flick out motion guys you don't want to dig in and start creating a full hawk look just exaggerate that motion and right now we'll come back with either clipper over comb or even scissor over comb and finish cleaning it up As you can see, I'm doing clipper over comb to finish connecting the sides to the top. And every time you trim some, you want to make sure you recomb that area that you just previously cut just to make sure that it sits as well as you intended it to. And a tip that I have for y'all is leave the lever fully open so that way you don't cut too much off. Or if you're really new to clipper over comb, go ahead and slap the number one guard on there. Just use it as a safety net to make sure that you're not cutting off too much at a time right here i just finished connecting by cleaning out the frizz with no guard just cutting against the grain and freehanding it as you can see i am using my pinky as basically a support as it is easier to freehand this way rather than just completely freehanding a clipper in the air By now you should have the first guideline that we created with the zero, second that we created with the half which is the lever open, and the third that we created with the number one guard lever fully open. We're going to start with that top one and work our way down. Using my one and a half guard, I'm going to close the lever just slightly putting it in a three fourths position. It's basically somewhere in between halfway open and completely open. And using mainly the corners of the clipper I'm going to attack that top most guideline and just start erasing that and if you were easy enough with the initial strokes in the beginning with that two and that three guard the two should have blended right into that three that's why we're not even worried about that we're just focusing on the next one down which is the one that we created with the number one guard again all the steps are in the description below in case you got confused or lost somehow now to attack that second guideline coming down i'm going to use my half guard but i am going to leave that lever in that three-fourths position and one thing i did want to mention is this half guard sometimes does not erase that half line completely but it's okay just follow and trust the process as long as it's basically lightening that guideline you're okay just continue but this half guard is creating a faint line right above it do not take this step any higher as we will come back right now with the one guard and finish blending that out So like I mentioned, now we're going to use the number one guard and still leave that lever in that three-fourths position and we're going to attack that faint line that the half guard created. And the tip I have for y'all is keep a small brush on your opposite hand just so you can clean the canvas as you go every couple strokes. Now for that last guideline that we created with the zero, we're going to erase this line by starting with the lever closed, then we're going to open it halfway, and then we're going to open it completely. And we're going to work in sections at a time, so I'm just going to focus on this left side of his head. We're going to take each of those notches up just slightly, probably like about a quarter inch or so. Again, using mainly the corners of the clipper. Now I'm going to put it halfway. And finally completely open and finishing off the fade. As y'all can see, it's pretty much done. As for the back side, I break it down into two smaller sections 
as we all know the back side is very tedious so i like to pay more attention and just give a little extra time to it starting again with the lever closed and here i opened it halfway already and finally completely open Now to focus on the right back side. It's just a three step process guys to erase that last line and finish off the fade. And finally focus on the right side. Now for any touch up work, I usually do it with my half guard. I usually start with the lever open and just adjust as I go. I wish there was a one basically step set in stone for touch up work, but there's really not. It really, it's really gonna vary from client to client and from even one side of the head to the other. And when you're done with that, you're gonna wanna use the trimmer in that forward direction to just get a lot closer to the scalp and then turn it around and just blend that right in. And by getting closer to the scalp, it's basically just gonna be a better distinction from that bottom hair to the fade. So right now when we remove that bottom hair, it's gonna be, it's gonna leave a faint line and you're gonna know exactly how high up to take that electric shaver. Now that we remove the hair, this is that small faint line that I was talking about. So now we know exactly how high to take the shaver up. You can see the distinction in the back a little bit more than you can on the sides. Another tip I have for y'all as you approach that faint line, use your electric shaver as if it was a clipper using mainly just the corners of it just to ensure that you don't take the fade any higher than you need to. And when I'm done shaving the back, I usually run my the back of my fingers in multiple directions just to make sure that I did shave as closest to the grain as possible. Just going to go ahead and trim his beard with the number two guard and his mustache with the number one guard lever fully open. Make sure that you are, you are asking your client to pull his lip in to make sure that you're trimming it even. And to blend that beard in, I'm going to start with the lever completely open and then close it and then use that three step process, but now in reverse. So I'm going to start with the lever open, put it halfway and finish it off by closing the lever completely. Using my trimmer just to finish off those details. And now to clean up his eyebrows, like I mentioned before, make sure you are going that extra mile and asking them if they want their facial hair clean, their eyebrows clean, and just remove any nose hair or ear hair if they have any. Dampening the bangs just a bit so I can clip them out of the way to proceed with the edge up. And I start in the middle and work my way towards one side. And before I start the opposite side, I like to then recalibrate and start from the middle again and then proceed to the side. And a quick tip I have for y'all is before I do any razor work, I usually do go over it with my electric shaver, especially that mustache area and that beard area, just so I don't do out my razor blade as fast. And to give that neckline that real full beard effect, I locate the Adam's apple and take it up just about a finger or so.
and I usually shave the neck area with my electric shaver just because I could shave against the grain to then get a lot closer. And just freehand any frizz after that. Another tip I have for y'all is before I even apply the shave gel or shave lotion, I do soften the skin with just a little bit of water. It's gonna help not dry out that shave gel or shave lotion as fast. And always start with the thickest areas first. So here I'm gonna start with that mustache area since the blade is at its sharpest and then proceed with the edge up. Starting by shaving with the grain, follow that by shaving against the grain. Using your opposite hand to stretch the skin as much as possible to ensure a smoother shave. And I always use my blow dryer when I'm dusting my client off just to get as much hair off as I possibly can so that way they feel clean as they proceed with their day. And before I style the top and blow dry it, I do damp it a little bit. And I'm gonna use high heat. And what I do first is I basically just dry the top probably to about 80, 90%. And once it's about 80, 90%, then I bring in my brush and start drying it in the direction that I want it to lay. And as for the front, I am gonna twist the brush up to create as much volume as I can in the front. And you wanna hit it with the cool shot, which is then gonna turn off the heat to then close that cuticle so the hair could just basically stay in the position that you dried it in. I'm gonna apply a little bit of matte pomade. Help bring that volume back in with my brush and lock in this look with hairspray. Applying a little bit of hair enhancements and yes, I do dilute mine with half water. Here is the before in case y'all forgot what he looked like. And finally, here's the after. A bald mid fade with a comb over on top. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Let us know down in the comments below what y'all would like for us to do next. As usual, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Till next time, guys. Peace.